Every time I get recognized in public, it's the same thing. If somebody comes up to me, they say, Zeeland, thank you so much for teaching me, football manager, you've ruined my life. And I say, you're welcome. But a wise man once said that you can learn more by watching others than you could ever learn by yourself. That wise man being me, although it does sound like something Confucius would say or something. So it's time for me to watch you play football manager. But because all of my brain power is used on football manager and none on hacking skills, I can only watch the people that are broadcasting their gameplay. To Twitch! First up, we have Big... Gingy. It's a good name. That's a strong manager name. Th this is this is the console game. He's playing the console game. I've actually I'm not even I'm not even joking and this is probably going to come as a huge surprise. I've never even seen the console game be played before. So this is fascinating. But this is totally the console game. Y and X right there. This guy's playing on Xbox right now. This is incredible. I feel like I'm about to learn so much. This is complicated as f but okay. We'll go on with it. Okay, probably, it sounds like he might have never played Football Manager before, so that might be the situation we're in here. Wait, what is this? What is this principal screen? Resilience. Is this what they have on console instead of, instead of you actually, like, picking all of your attributes? That's insane. I, I didn't know that existed on, on console. Okay, so he's now busy making sure that he's set up an online game correctly. I didn't know you could play an online game in the console mode. He's playing an online game with his chat and what I believe might be his first time ever playing Football Manager. This is just insane. This is bold. Ah, now he's doing his set piece introductions. This is, this is the same. This is looking the same. Oh, that hurts my eyes, dude. That hurts my, oh, I, I, I've got to try the console version of the game. This is so weird looking to me. Look at the way this squad looks on the right side. It's just like name, heart, it, it's completely different. I'm out of my element. This is like taking a chimpanzee from West Africa and putting him in Seattle and then just being like, yeah, figure it out. It's the same thing. Does that even make sense? Am I playing too much Planet Zoo in my free time? Maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you mean? 300 mil. I accept the offer because it means smile pays release. I offered 300 mil. <laughs> nice. Stop offering me 10 and 20 quid. He is being subjected to the most classic bit of shithousery that you can engage in on Online Football Manager, which is offering ridiculous transfer offers to blow up somebody's inbox and unsettle their players. That is just kind of how this works. All right, let's get ahead to a match and see how it looks in the console game. Surprisingly normal. This is going to be a fing pile of shit. Maybe. Can They've got the options the along the bottom. Yeah. They look very, very arcadey, obviously. Press, 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 press. Whoa! Yes! Wait, what? No way, dude. How does he not score that goal? This is peak football manager. I can't think of a better way to be introduced to football manager. You've got an absolutely diabolically bad back pass here from Thiago Silva. It hit the post. It hit the crossbar. And he doesn't he doesn't realize that it hit the crossbar. And so he starts celebrating the goal. It's just too good, dude. What's that not in? What just happened? <laughs> oh, I've been out. I've been out. The camera's done me. The camera's done me. He is 15 minutes into what I believe is his first match ever on Football Manager, and he's already getting so much of the experience. Turn game sounds off. I didn't even have them on. Took him Just 25 minutes to this turn off the match league. sounds. Fair. No! Oh, what have you done? <laughs> he got a red card. Oh, the first that? 30 minutes of the game. Why is he f***ing done that? Now he's making changes with the game going on behind the changes, which is... What am I looking at? Who's a f***ing wing back on here? John? Change. Why can't I change? What is going on? What is happening? I can't... I can't see. Is it like glitched out what or something? Here, then? Let me f***ing see what's happening. Now, I wish I could help you, but I actually can't. I have no idea how. We're going to concede in a minute. I won't even f***ing see what's happened. Let me back out. There we... Right, I know it's half time. No, I didn't change anything. Stupid bum hole. <laughs> we have entered the full meltdown phase of Football Manager, and that's just the way that it works. How do you lot... How do you console lot play this? I don't really don't know. I'm... What... I can't, I can't, I can't. What is this? I can't do tacticalness. 
They, that's where I thrive as well. In game management, I'm like, I can't do it. I actually kind of feel bad from here. The problem is because it's his first time playing, I don't know if it's user error if the game's actually glitching out. I mean, he is playing an online game with like 20 people, which is notor like, you know, that's always been notoriously buggy on FM in the first Great place. Challenge, Patterson. Patterson's come on. I don't think he ever changed What's, his tactic after the guy got sent off either. So I think this is just... Why is it auto doing it? Why is Patterson come on? What is happening here? Oh, he has some sort of automatic substitution thing. Is that a setting? Is that a setting on the on the, on, on the console game? It can automatically yeah, substitute players and stuff? Can promote me players. I mean, collision. He might have accidentally hit a button that, do, that does that. I, I Truth is, I have no idea. And then... All of a sudden, the stream just ends. Now, even though it was probably rage, it's possible his stream went down due to a lack of internet security, which wouldn't happen to you if you use the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN is like absolutely essential for me with the amount that I travel. I recently just spent 20, 25 of the last 30 days in Europe and NordVPN kept me safe every step of the way. No matter what hotel Wi-Fi I happen to be using, I felt safe being able to go on any website to handle banking, to handle YouTube uploads with maximum security by routing my internet traffic through one of NordVPN's different servers around the world. It also allowed me to watch my favorite TV shows in the United States, even though I was in Germany, the Netherlands, or England. It's so ridiculously, unbelievably easy to use. You literally just go to this map and you can zoom in on a particular area. And let's say I want to route my traffic through the server in Charlotte, North Carolina, and boom, I'm routing my traffic through the server in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's just as easy for me to take a quick Quick trip over to Ghana and boom. And not only is it super effective at keeping you safe and super easy to use, it is also a super great deal. If you click the link in the description, you get an exclusive NordVPN deal and an extra four months on top of that. That's this link right here. It's, it's in the description. And when you use that, you also get a 30 day money back guarantee. So a huge thank you to NordVPN for being something that I use all the time. And if you want to check it out, the link is of course in the description. Stay safe out there in your coffee shops. I think I want to go to Malta now. Nice. I'm in Malta. Anyways, next we have Dullest Spoon. I have been in this stream for five seconds and he just got a red card. I, I you know, I might just be bad luck. Maybe I should leave everybody alone here. Who's he managing? The Turkey, it, Turkey U19s? I see Arda Guler's going up to the striker position. First of all, ton of respect for somebody taking on a youth international job. Almost nobody does that. I've done it before and I had a great time doing it. And he's currently winning 1-0 against the Montenegro U19s. See, you know what, Spawn? You are off and running. You are making plays and I love that. Also, is he rocking Pokemon Ball earphones? Because I need to get me a pair of those. Ottagula down to Kilmaraz. Oh, a man down? Oh, good. Surely. Oh, again. oh, sure. <laughs> he is providing some wonderful live commentary to this game. I don't know if this is in any competition. I don't. I'm looking at the logo in the top left. This could be qualifying for the U19 Euros or something. Oh, he's yelling at. He used the individual talks to yell at the guy getting sent off. That's good. I actually, I don't think I've ever done that individually. Yeah, this is Euro U19 qualifying, and he is only managing the Turkish U19 national team. I'd love to know how he ended up in this position in the first place to be honest with you look at the tactic over here on the right looks like he's running a little four two three one uh pretty you know pretty normal four two three one two defensive midfielders like the tactic that absolutely everybody's <gasps> he just used the suggested squad i don't know if i've ever seen anybody do that before I see he's running into the same issue that everybody seems to always run into when it comes to international play. Arda Guler can't play two matches in a row. Nobody can play two matches in a row. He does realize that he's got two, like, half silver star players wildly out of position that are currently on the field at center back and left back, right? He, he does... I don't know if he noticed. What? I mean, I hope he wins this match, but I'm really just waiting for him to open the tactical view on the actual tactic screen to see if he notices that he has two players that are just way out of position. Or if he explains, like, maybe he has to do that. Maybe he doesn't have the, but he, he handles call-ups. You should be able to call up a couple of guys at each position. Didn't look like anybody was injured. It's gotta be a mistake. Like when you accidentally leave your backup goalkeeper in when you're rotating. Right. Sahin to Yilmaz, back to Sahin. Sahin whoops one in. Alpha on the far corner. Alpha scores. That's what I wanted to see. 
praise them. You know, even though he's playing those guys out of position, his team is rampant. They had over 3XG or almost 3XG in that last match they were playing, and now they were running all over Bosnia and Herzegovina. Convince it. Right, okay, that's a striker I really wanted to keep starting because he's uh, at least scored a goal for us now. He does have a striker on the bench. I don't know if he just really, really hates that striker. He also, he, I mean, it is out. true. His his Fox center back it. and his left back just cannot play those positions at all, and he still hasn't noticed. Hardy Goulet on like a complete wing back on attack. That's crazy. What? He has no other center backs in his entire team. He just pulled up the dang thing, and it, it, there's no his entire back lines out of position. His left back is Arda Goulart. I mean, this is this is beyond mad scientist. This is this is a level of mad scientistry that is making me uncomfortable. I can't even believe what I'm watching right now. March for the good clearance. Got and he, his nice. team's good amazing. Job. His team's running absolutely rampant. What does he know that I don't know? I need to study in a mountaintop in some misty, mythical place with this guy so he can teach me how he can play a whole back line of people out of position and dominate the match that he's playing. Literally nobody on his back line now is over two silver stars, which means they are just completely unfamiliar with where they're playing, and it does not matter. Strategy again. We have no center back, so I had to just make some. <laughs> Okay, he's talking about it right now. Him. Can he get another good cross in? So he had to just make some center backs, and unbelievably, it's actually working. Okay, Was he okay, not I'm in charge of the call-up or something, or or they all just get hurt? So he knows. He's a, he's an informed, educated mad scientist, not just a madman. But if you can get two wins from two and you are playing with literally one center back on the entire team, that's a victory. I don't care if you're playing San Marino twice. Good carry as well. Oh, Emery Akko, great headed. It's 4 0. It's 4 0. His attacking players have been absolutely unstoppable. It's not like Bosnia and Herzegovina is a complete pushover of a national team unit either. Obviously, U19s is a bit more of a crapshoot, but. As the Turkish under 19s, we don't have uh, basically any centre backs. We have one. Um, so it's a bit difficult. So we're getting the lore to, uh, right now. To manage this. So I keep having to go for like a full attack. It's very difficult. It so he's having to try to manage a team basically that he says has one center back. Maybe the national pool only has one center back. It might, I, I suppose that is possible that the national team only has one center back in the pool depending oh, on how he loaded the, the database. That's just uh, just an incredible oh challenge, and it Alien doesn't Service matter, scored. dude. It's 5-1. He's going to win two matches from two with one center back on basically his entire team. That I mean, that, I guess that explains why we'd put Arda Goulart at left back, because you just, oh, let me take a really, really good player that we have and just put him in a position. Even though he doesn't know the position, he's going to be a really good player in that spot. I mean, Arda Goulart is going to be the best player on the field in basically any U19s match that you're playing in. Good tackle from our not centre back. Go on, put another foot in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Again, only cool goals allowed. Hey, you just outscore your opponent. It's fine. But now we're finally seeing what it looks like when you're playing two not centre backs, as he would say. Uh, my game has frozen, which is really pog. There you go. No, no. Okay, my game is bugging. What is going on? Oh. Cancel. Okay, we, we can give it. A... Wow, I have, I've actually never seen Football Manager break that way and then kind of snap back to being okay. I'm, I'm amazed the game didn't just crash there. I mean, the next thing he should do is save. If he ever gets off this loading screen, he should save. This guy, okay, this guy's a mad lad in more ways than one. He has now watched all of that happen in the game kind of lag, and he has not, he has not saved it at all, and he's just going to start simming forward again. I can't watch this anymore. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me too much. Oh, I can't handle it. Next, we have Mr. Callum X. So it looks like he's got a bit of a skin going. Uh, he is managing Bristol City, it would seem. And we're going into an FA Cup match. It just feels nice and comfortable to be back watching somebody managing in England after all this Turkish U19s and console FM nonsense. Ooh. Ooh, no, show me that tactic, brother. Oh, look at that form. Okay. In the and championship, 20th, not exactly oh, producing okay, win so after win here. Oh, and he's got the percentages back. This is FM24, right? Yeah. Okay. 
So he, he's got a skin in FM24 that brings back the old percentages for match sharpness and conditioning. Those have, of course, been replaced by the heart, but I'm guessing this skin just peels that back. I was going to like the transition of the heart, but I can understand how you wouldn't want to give up that part of the game. It does make me wonder if we maybe sell this guy for 4 million. Wasn't he going to win a match? Now he's looking at a transfer deal? What? I, I, I zoned out for a second. I have no idea what's happening. We won't sell him yet, but I think... I think that's going to be the, the play. End of the season, hopefully, he will be closer to the 4 million mark. Oh, he's basing what he thinks maybe he can sell off, off the of the guide so value? Sell him for 4 million. I like that little piece of the skin that shows his last transfer, but using the guide value to guess how much you're going to be able to sell somebody for is rough at best. Maybe I've just been hurt by the guide value too many times. That's entirely possible. I love the presentation on this. I really do need to explore the world of skins more. We, I, I used to be partnered with a with a guy. We'd be able to make skins together, but we, I've kind of just ported that skin that we made two years ago forward into the next game. I, yeah, I, I, I would love to partner with somebody else again to make a new kind of Zealand skin going into the new era. Oh, he's got long throws on. Oh, a man after my own heart. He's got long throws on. No. No way. But he is... Oh, oh no, no, no. Sorry. Holy He's smokes, not that guys. team. He's playing Morkum, who have long throws on. And I don't know if we were I can tell you the last that. time I saw the AI have long throws either. But if it's going to happen, the English lower leagues is the place for it to happen. All right, fine. Uh, come on. Oh, libero. He's using a libero. A man of culture. A man of culture. I didn't notice the libero when I first looked at the tactic, but you, there's no way a center back's doing that and is not on libero. Can we rewind the tape and show the libero? Because I know I'm right. Oh, oh lovely ball. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what he gets for using a poacher. That was the one thing I did notice in the tactic. Very few people use poachers in football manager. All right, maybe we do need to push. Oh, he's uh, only on balance? Oh, with... yeah, brother. You got to go after it. I mean, you're playing with a back five and, you know, you're against a, a team like Morecambe. You got to get after this, man. That mentality. Mentality is still on balance and he is his wingbacks are pretty aggressive you can win and be aggressive out of a back five but especially down one nothing you got to flick that on Lovely. i mean what do i know clearly what do, what do i know what do i know oh that's that's cool that's funny really kind of lucked out being able to score on that set piece though he, he, he uh, the mentality being unbalanced in a game like this i mean it, it is it's just bothering me lovely mac has got the dribbling skills can put a little ball into the middle if he wants. Oh, it's Liam Cullen. What is that goal, dude? What is that goal? What on earth was that? How has he managed to go up 2-1 at this match? That was a tip from Saz. Instead of upping the mentality, up the tempo. So that was his thought process. Instead of upping the mentality, you up the tempo. Because the tempo is the speed at which your team is looking oh, to play with the ball. Oh my God, what a ball. What a shot. But the changing the mentality changes the aggression that the players have in terms of their positioning. So, I mean, in certain instances, it does make sense to change your tempo instead of your mentality. Honestly, I'd recommend just changing both. <laughs> so, we want him to shoot more oh, often. I like this. I like this. But yeah, dribble less is, is fine. He's getting really granular with the types of player instructions he wants to put on the guy he's subbing in, which is really cool. And he's got it set to personalized. So I don't I don't agree with the mentality thing, but that is some really good granular management to try and maximize the ability of his of his players. Oh no way. Oh, he just dominated the match and got equalized. Oh, that's so brutal. And so, despite Callum's brilliance in the use of the libero, he has been smited by the mighty shrimps. And next, we have Cultaholic, which appears to be not one, but two people. Quickly check. So, in real life chat, Birmingham have just signed a player called Mark Leonard. Or Leonard, probably. Or Leonard. Do you want to search for this boy? Let's see how good he is. So Birmingham have signed this lad in real life, oh, Romano on? confirmed, for 500k. There he is. Dundee United. I reckon it is just Mark Leonard if he's British. He's Scottish, yeah. Okay. Is okay. He any, is he even any good? We don't know. 
A scowl. A scowl, yeah. Why not? They've got him in real life. Might be okay. So I've come in and they're looking at a Fabrizio Romano tweet from Birmingham. And they are now looking to scout and acquire the player that was just signed by Birmingham in real life. I kind of, I kind of love that. So they're in July 2026 and they're in the middle of the summer. They're looking to set up some transfers. And they're looking at players like Savio. Ha! <laughs> you look at their midfield. They did two defensive midfielders that are just both injured. They are running some trials for players including Stevanovic and Amari Hutchinson. Those are some pretty good trials. I respect this. Sami Braybrook. I think, I think we scouted it. <laughs> Nice hair, Sammy. Uh, also, Pats and Daka's on a free chat. He's only 27. Oh, they're checking the injury history on Pats and Daka before they uh, they think about signing him. That's a, that's a good move. That's a pro move. That's something I forget to do sometimes. So now they've gone into their scouting section, and their, their scouting is a little, little granular. They do have the Wonder Kids 15 to 22 thing. I don't know where it is. They've got the goalkeepers, the strikers, championship and premier division. I hate scouting by league. I really hate scouting by league, especially in two leagues that are going to just overprice every player that you're trying to sign. I mean, honestly, the thing I respect the most about what I'm watching from them here is they are being incredibly grant. They have not advanced a day since I started watching them. They're just going through player searches, their scouting reports, and just looking for players. This is how Football Manager was meant to be played. I'm gonna leave them to it. This is honestly so fun to do. It's amazing how different Football Manager can feel depending on who you are watching play it. If you wanna watch me watch a former FIFA player play Football Manager for the first time, you can also check out that video. It's Nick RTFM starting up a save with Manchester United, and it is as funny as you might hope it is. I, I, I promise. Me to you, I promise.